ass closed ass Bit. I saw people's true colors, as in, you know, teachers. Do <laughs> not want me to say what's going yes. on. And to Kamisha's baby, when you see this in 18 years, yes. your mom was the shit. <laughs> Before he came, I didn't know I was going to be this overprotective because I can't, I don't trust anybody. I didn't wear that shit. She had the red <laughs> She had that shit. Oh, Swirl, <laughs> the bag, whatever you call it. I don't even want people coming to see him. I don't ever want anybody to see him. Scrubs, we put with black scrubs, but none of my scrubs fit anymore. So, <laughs> this is what they got. It just is what it is. And I waited last minute to get an outfit, which was yesterday. I'm in the store, and nothing fit. So, we just got a, a plain dress, and we're gonna call it a day because. I'm over it. I'm over being here. I'm just glad, for, happy for graduation today and that we finally did it the whole six months straight. Like Monday through Friday, 9.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. And then some of us have to stay after. It's so like 7.30, 9.30 p.m. to get these hours down that we missed. Because as soon as you miss a day, the hours are going up, okay? So I advise y'all if you have one at Statistician School, go every day. Don't miss a day because them makeup hours almost killed them. These are cute, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then we got these flowers. So this is what Marlene and I got all of us. She's not here right now, but she packed us all a card and a gift. And it has her like brand name on it, which is so cute. It's like free facials. She put face masks. We have some lip balm. Bath balm. Chocolate, which was so cute. And she put her brand in here too. And she gave out no, like to the new girls and the um, graduates. This was so thoughtful and cute. Yeah, we're just on break. Just went through this hell together. Like, it's a lot of stupid shit going on at the school. But through it all, like, we didn't give up. We didn't stop. Like, we kept going. Even though most of us had a lot of hours to make up, we made it up before graduation. And I'm just super, super proud of us. Like, that's dope. But I'm not eating lunch. I kind of had a croissant with a sausage, egg, and cheese this morning, which was super good. Then I had me some chocolate milk. 
So everybody else is on lunch, getting ready and stuff. And I'm just sitting outside chilling, watching some Law & Order on my phone. He is staring at me and I'm having him. Look at the shoes. So cute, so cute, so cute. I get into a very demure. Very cute. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so y'all, it is 12.35. Everybody's trying to get ready. <laughs> yeah, look at her makeup. Yes. Let me see, let me see, let me see. So cute. Um I think the top middle. I think I don't know though. Honestly, I Okay, so can y'all introduce yourselves and then do a little Stop confessional? <laughs> like, how was y'all six so months much. here? Oh, God. <laughs> I got, oh, please. <laughs> you do not want me to say what's going Yes, <laughs> how was your six months? We gotta tell them. I'm glad it's over mm -hmm. and that we're moving on, mm -hmm. leaving this place behind. <laughs> Don't call me. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it's over, guys. Yeah, I'm so happy it's over. Me too. I'm really proud of us. Like, the majority of us are finishing mm -hmm. on time despite crazy life shit happening. Mm -hmm. So happy. The one positive of, out of all of this was, of course, finishing and mm -hmm. getting our license, but meeting all of you. Yeah, I was like, saying that too. Yeah, that was the best part. I really like yeah, like we got such a good. We all helped each other so much. Oh yeah, we other definitely did. Help. Other people come through here in six months just like sitting in the corner. Yeah. Just being like, fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy I met you guys, and I just hope you guys prosper. And like, oh, I'm coming for my facial. Yeah, she gave us the baggies. Better keep us up to date with the baby. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. So I was saying, how was your six months experience here? In the beginning, it started off slow. <laughs> you know, I was quiet, you know, trying to feel out like everyone's vibes mm. and whatnot. Um, after that first class graduated, I saw people's true colors, as in, you know, teachers, the school, <laughs> and low-key started to regret it. But I'm thankful that I was in a class with such wonderful young ladies. Right. Because if it wasn't for y'all... <laughs> I would have burned this shit the fuck down. Yeah, we went to hell all <laughs> together. Like, if it wasn't no, for y'all, I would have probably been... Literally. <laughs> stop coming. Like... Been stop coming. <laughs> <laughs> no dead ass. Like, it was stressful. It was traumatic. Oh like... So I don't know, but I'm glad we're fucking done. Right. We all finished, so... <laughs> Yay, congrats to us. Yeah. <laughs> Would you say just keep soaring? Just keep swimming. All right. <laughs> but my experience has been memorable. Um, when I first started, I was very excited, and I feel like I'm one step closer to my career. Um, yeah, she's going to nursing school on Monday. <laughs> Wish her luck. Right. But yeah, that's my experience. Right. <laughs> I, I had a good experience. I had wonderful support. Um, the first time I ever did makeup on someone else, it was Meredith, and it made me realize that I and she does so good. Yes, so look. It's definitely been a very nice experience. 
It and has. Baby. And okay. to Tamisha's baby, when you see this in 18 years, yes. your mom is the shit. <laughs> Period. Period. Thank Period. you. Bad bitch. <laughs> Ass bad. Yo. Period. <laughs> First day I seen her, she came through wearing that shit. She had the red up She had that shit. Oh, Squirrel, the bag, whatever you call it. She had a um, little white jumpsuit. I did, I did. Ooh. That that really After a while, I stopped giving a fuck. Okay. Are you sure? Should I add you? We all did, but let's see. Do you want to highlight? We're finally here. This is the LP, y'all. <laughs> Baby Buck is bumpy. How cute, how cute. Look at this outfit. Yes, it's giving Barbie doll. I love it. And look, these are the shoes I was showing y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Mac, you get into it, get into it. Okay, can we take one more? I think two of us are going to have seats. There's no seats. It's going to have to take two of us Okay, try and get close together. As close as possible. I'm gonna have to poke everybody's eye out right Hey, thank you so much. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I ended this vlog off very, very badly for my esthetician vlog because I didn't get to end it, y'all. I was 37 weeks, maybe 36 weeks in over it. I was so uncomfortable. I was just over it. Like I think my body knew that I had to push through to finish esthetician school, y'all, because I kept telling myself like, oh, I'm going to take a leave of absence. I'm going to stop this day. Um, and then I'm going to just come back after the baby. But I knew that wasn't going to be possible no time soon. And I'm so glad that I stuck it out and finished it. But I think my body was cooperating with me. And was just like, right, like she has to do this. Let's actually push her to keep going. Like get up every morning. 8 o'clock. Make it there by what time? 9.20. They locking the doors at a certain time. Yeah, you cannot get in at a certain time. So that was literally every day. And then I had missed at least five days out of the whole six months. So... Every five um, hours that you miss, you have to make up. So I was actually staying later until like 7.30 at night sometimes. And I was exhausted, y'all. But my body kept going. The minute school was over, I'm like, all right, I'm not lashing anymore. I'm not going to school anymore. I'm just take this time out. I had a, at least like four weeks, three weeks left. I'm like, and I'm like, I'm going to just chill because my whole pregnancy, I just been working and going to school and not because I had to, because I wanted to, I have my own business. I have to run. So I was going to keep doing that. And I really wanted my esthetician license because that's just something that was long overdue. So that's what I really wanted to do. And I wanted to put my mind to it, to actually finish it and know that I could finish it. And that's what I did. So I'm super proud of myself. So shout out to me in the whole class. We really went through so much in that school, y'all. Like, so much. That'll probably be a separate video on what we went through because the baby. Like, it was literally so much they put us through, y'all. Like, don't recommend. But I'm happy it's over. It felt like the end was never coming. And yeah. But today is September 16th. I was supposed to give birth to my, yesterday september 15th one second my baby is crying but i was supposed to give birth yesterday you guys that didn't go as planned i kind of knew i was gonna go into labor early um i went into labor on labor day my water broke at like eight in the morning and it's like what the fuck in like so much pain that whole week of labor day week Be right back, y'all. Okay, I got hot, y'all. And I had to put the baby down. So, excuse the mom boobs right now. But they out. <laughs> it just is what it is, okay? Other than that, yes, y'all. Like, labor is crazy. The whole experience was crazy. The pain was crazy. Nobody talks about postpartum care afterwards. The pain is a zero out of ten. It's like you have to take care of yourself. You have to fix yourself and still take care of a baby. Like, shout out to the single moms because I could not do it without my boyfriend. Like, I don't just, like, his support is just, like, 
thank you because I could not do this without you. You know what I'm saying? Like he was a big help through the whole pregnancy, during the labor, after the labor. Like he deserves his flowers, even though he gets in my nerves sometimes. But he deserves his flowers, like, cause I could not do it with by myself. Like really, shout out to the moms. Like no one knows how strong they are until you go through it and you see, like, damn, how the hell do you do this by yourself? You know. So. Ladies, men, if you get into my pregnant and females, if you get pregnant, make sure you have the right partner. Sometimes you never know, but like, thank God I had somebody to help me, you know, because that after pain, oh my God, I feel like it was never going to end. I'm still going through it, um, but it's a lot better than what it was the first week. Tomorrow makes two weeks postpartum, so... It's like on and off, on and off. But yes, shout out to my partner because, again, it's crazy. The experience is crazy. Um, and childbirth is no joke. Like, just give moms their flowers because, ooh wee. Ooh wee, ooh wee, ooh wee. Everybody keeps saying, I can't believe you're a mom. Like, I can't believe I'm a mom. But, you know, everybody got kids. You have mom. I have mom. That's just how it goes, you know. And I love my baby so much. He's so adorable, so cute and big. Like nine pounds, nine ounces is crazy. I push that out, baby, okay? Yeah, I just wanted to come here and show you, tell you guys a little life update, what's been going on. I gave birth, graduated esthetician school this summer. I didn't even really get to do anything because I was pregnant. So school was just perfect this summer, but it drained the living life out of me. School and um, lashing, but I did it. I really feel like superwoman, which I am a superwoman, you know, because I did that. Like, I pushed on a nine pound, nine ounce baby, graduated college, college graduated esthetician school, and still working. Okay, and then after the whole labor, I'm still doing what it do. I mean, you know, you still gotta get used to your mom body, and you gotta get the baby weight off, which I'm kind of damn. I'm not gonna show you guys right now, because... My scratchy marks. Like, I don't know how I feel about them yet. But, my stomach isn't as big. Like, it really went down. I'm currently breastfeeding. So, they say when you breastfeed, the baby weight goes off you quicker. But, I'm only almost two weeks postpartum. So, I have a long, not a long way. I still have some time to go. It's still fresh. So, yeah. I'm just super excited to be a mom. Like, it's amazing. An amazing feeling to wake up. Like, I made you. I made your arms, your toes, your legs, your head, your nose. I did that. And you just so beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till he's like one month old to post him because I'm just so scared. Like, I didn't expect, I expected me to be like overprotective. But before he came, I didn't know I was gonna be this overprotective because I can't, I don't trust anybody. I don't want anybody talking about my baby. I don't want anybody saying anything about my baby. Like, I don't even want anybody to see my baby. Like, I'm just so, like, no, I'm trying to protect him from the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just so hard. He's so handsome. Like, I don't want to post him ever. But, you know, maybe he can get into some modeling or something because he's so handsome. But social, me social media is an evil place. So, it's just, like, me battling up with, like, posting him or not. Eventually, I will. But right now, I'm just, like, trying to hold him dear. You know, it's just so hard. I don't even want people coming to see him. But, you know, I don't ever want anybody to see him. But it is what it is. And it's hard to trust people at first. I guess when you first have a newborn, you, like, think you know everything was best for him. Which I do because I'm his mama. But it's just, like, it's okay to get a little help. But it's just, I don't need your help. Don't tell me nothing. But it's, like, it's still okay to get a little help. And yeah, that's all I wanted to come to say for right now. But yes, you guys, I will be vlogging more. I have been on TikTok and back on my Instagram reels. And yeah, YouTube videos will be coming back. I'm going to be making mom content along with my last check content when I go back to work. I don't. I'll probably be back like October-ish before Halloween. But other than that, guys, yes. I told you guys my esthetician vlog was all over the place, so we matched these together. That was literally um, August 22nd. Today is September 16th. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Leave me a comment. i like to see what you guys have to say. Subscribe to my YouTube if you made it this far. And, 
follow me on all social media platforms which will be linked down below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye